Greetings fellow men, servus Männer, it's Red Pill Germany again and today I want to talk about why Germany will drift to the right, politically speaking, in the new year 2017. Now that has something to do of course with the incidents that you heard about that happened recently in Germany like this uh, terrorist attack. Uh, of an ISIS terrorist that um, plowed through a Christmas market using a gigantic truck. But uh, that has also to do with some incidents and some issues that you might not have heard about uh, if you are not living in Germany or if you don't read German media. Now first of all I can say that in private uh, conversations uh, I met some of my old friends from school recently for example just before Christmas but also within my own family during the conversations we had around Christmas time I can sense that people who were always very moderate or even left winged and very tolerant or very Christian or very progressive liberal as you would call it probably in English or in the Anglosphere, uh, they tell a different story now. They are actually frustrated, they are sometimes very critical of the leaders that we have at the moment and um, they dare, although in private only, but they dare to speak up now. So this is something that I can just sense. But also when you um, follow the media you also see that a lot of people uh, who are in the um, public domain for example, politicians or celebrities, they also speak up now. This is of course due to the fact that the media tried to censor a lot of crime that was committed by illegal immigrants into Germany, but uh, then um, some uh, private citizens uh, found out about these issues, maybe they were eyewitnesses, or uh, they live close to where it happened and they only saw it uh, treated uh, in very vague terms like youths or um, uh, five men attacked another man or something like that, you know, um, but everyone knows who the perpetrators are. So what these private citizens then do is they leak the message and then alternative media picks it up and then the mainstream media looks like a clown basically. They look like censors. They look like they were willfully, which is a fact I think, they were willfully trying to hide uh, important facts about these cases. And um, now the mainstream media knows that they cannot get away with this kind of uh, censorship anymore and they are forced against their will now to actually uh, publish uh, the pictures or even the name or the nationality of these perpetrators because otherwise the public calling them the Lügenpresse, the lying media. And this is a mechanism that we see that is going on at the moment that just uh, will know uh, one destination. That the media will, against their own will, they are forced to uh, report more truthfully about incidents um, telling us about all the details that are important to the viewers and readers and then the um, right-winged stereotypes, let's put it this way, or what right-wing people have known for many decades already and what they have actually foreseen and what they have actually predicted to be happening in Europe and in Germany. So this will just be a reaffirmation of what they already knew, but the general public will see that these right-wing nutjobs were right all along. And there is nothing that the mainstream media can do, because it is reality. It is not fabrications. This is not propaganda. This is what is actually happening on the street. And this is why you cannot deny it if it's not an isolated incident, as they always say it is. It is actually happening everywhere, all the time. So what are those incidents, for example? Now there was a group that was referred to just as young men and that we know now a couple of days later, this happened at, in, at Christmas Eve, uh, that they are all coming from Syria and Libya actually. Now what these young men did on Christmas Eve, mind you, they surrounded a homeless person and set him on fire. And it is only because uh, passers-by and I think a bus driver with a fire extinguisher uh, helped that homeless person immediately. Otherwise he would have burned alive. As another case uh, <laughs> happened uh, recently where a man just set his wife on fire, killing her in the process in broad daylight. 
Now the media just tried to refer to these men as young men or unidentified young men when we knew that there was footage of them in a subway nearby and none of them looks like Germans, you know. They all have dark hair, they all look uh, like Muslims from the Middle East basically. And now we know that they are in fact from the Middle East. But that was withheld from the public. And it is only because of the public pressure and um, these um, thwarted attempts that we have seen recently to where the media tries to hide the identity of the perpetrators so that there won't be any right-wing sentiment in the general public but uh, this time it didn't work anymore they are forced now to admit yes they are from Syria these they came into Germany as refugees you know so incident by incident the public becomes more aware that this was not um, hate speech or fear-mongering of some right-wing ideologues but this is actually what happens daily on the street and in addition to the media being forced to report actual facts now for a change, also the more right-wing segments of the established party cartel that is ruling uh, Germany at the moment under Angela Merkel are already uh, seeing that their future is in danger and that they are calling now actually for deporting these perpetrators. Now I think this is mostly lip service and I wouldn't vote for them no matter what they say now because they didn't say this uh, when it was an unpopular opinion. So I will vote right wing no matter what and I will not trust them if they um, come around now and just copy uh, AFD slogans all of a sudden that um, migrant crime is in the media. It is too little too late from my point of view but well the fact that they try it means that they are afraid already to lose the coming elections in 2017. So they are actually saying that if you do these horrendous things here in Germany you are violating the guest right you enjoy here. So the guest right is a term from the Old Testament or from archaic uh, cultures that means if you are a guest in someone's house or in a village or something that um, you should uh, behave accordingly, you should respect their property and as a consequence or in exchange for that they will not harm you. And this is a concept that is not legally valid anymore, but morally it is still a thing with people, of course. If you come into another person's home or into another person's country and you disrespect his property and you uh, kill his friends or his family, um, they will um, not give you the protection any longer that um, you think you deserve in that country. And that is just a fact. So and then there were some incidents that you might have not heard about yet. So there were a couple of churches burning throughout the year and um, this never really makes it into the media really but um, yeah this is another thing that occurs in very multicultural neighborhoods that all of a sudden the churches start burning. And another very interesting thing that I read recently is that leaders in the German police are now getting very worried that the police force is turning their back on the established parties. So that means that the police officers are very dissatisfied with the way that they are treated with all the overtime and the fact that once they catch actually a criminal the courts and the system will just uh, set them free again and uh, they see them the next day again on the street committing just the next crime. So the criminals are neither deported nor really imprisoned. So uh, this causes a lot of frustration for the police officers who have to catch them every day anew and um, who see that the system is just not protecting the citizens, you know. So this is actually big news for a government or for a state when the police force is turning their back on not only the coalition at the moment but when I say established parties that means also opposition parties who are on the same page as the coalition parties at the moment when it comes to foreigners, Islam and immigration. So what is referred to as the established parties in Germany is basically a cartel of parties that includes the Green Party, um, the Social Democrat Party, the Liberal Party and the Christian Democratic Party. Um, some people include the Communist Party but um, that is actually an open question. But uh, for sure the new right-wing parties that have a lot of uh, ex-members of the Christian Conservative parties within their ranks are not the established parties and so what that means this news article is that um, 
the police officers become more AFD friendly now because they see that what the AFD says is true and they see this every day in their job and uh, with all the overtime and with all the budget cuts and uh, with the fact that the criminals that they catch are just um, let loose again uh, to harm the citizens of Germany is just very frustrating to them and demoralizing I guess so they are turning their backs on Merkel's regime and um, without the police well what is this state still huh? So one of the examples for what is demoralizing our cops at the moment is the case of um, a young man from Morocco, for example, who came without any documents into Germany and whose um, plea for asylum um, was already denied uh, because he's from Morocco and he doesn't have any papers and it's ridiculous. Now for the crimes that he has committed before, he only got a probation actually and um, he was supposed to be deported for a long time already but um, the authorities just didn't do it because they said they were overworked and now he raped a 24 year old woman. So this guy should not have been here. He, he, his plea for asylum was denied, he was criminal, he only got a probation sentence, he was just ignored by the authorities basically. The German authorities know that there is this guy from Morocco who is a criminal who has no right to be here but they just let him wander around the streets of Germany not doing anything and then he rapes a woman. So and and how can any sane person or any police officer whose job it is, whose um, calling it is to protect law-abiding citizens, how can they be quiet when they see something like that? And um, well, the officers just say, well, we are overworked. There was nothing we can do. Well, the answer must be then um, to make the whole process more efficient, not waste so much time on translators and on uh, this uh, blown up ridiculous process, but just deport those people. They shouldn't be here in the first place, period. Now I'm not saying we shouldn't have due process, I'm not saying we shouldn't help people who are fleeing from civil war, I'm just saying that when it is really obvious that this person is not from a civil war country and when he is a criminal, we already have two reasons why he should uh, be kicked out of Germany immediately, not next week, not next month, now. And uh, until the flight goes or until the ship leaves, he must be arrested. He must be controlled. He cannot walk around freely on the streets of Germany. This is the consequence. And we will see this hopefully in the next year. So I am not a prophet or anything, but it doesn't take a lot to actually uh, make this prophecy and to predict that 2017 will be a year where uh, right-winged opinions will um, become uh, very prominent in Germany and where the center of uh, the German uh, society will drift to the right actually, uh, where the uh, media will be forced to report truthfully um, even more than towards the end of 2016 and uh, where the government will try to do everything in their power with um, the new ministry of truth that they already planned against quote-unquote fake news to manipulate uh, public opinion and manipulate the media and feed their false uh, narrative of lies to the people but uh, with the new media and with people having alternative sources of information I don't see a lot they can do actually unless they want to go full 1984 of course they're trying this that is not the question but um, I don't think they can do much about it when um, we have millions of these criminals already behind our borders within our communities and when these crimes are seen by even eyewitnesses every day so I don't really see a lot that right-wing people must do, but just spread the news, that's it. Just comment on what's in the mainstream media, just share your stories, that's all. There is not much you have to do, there is not much you can do more than that. Just uh, be ready, defend yourselves, uh, always be ready to protect your loved ones, your friends and your families. Um, I think it is really like in the comic book or in the movie V for Vendetta, you know, where the government was trying to regain the uh, moral high ground or to um, force or drive the narrative with their um, 
media, with the state-controlled media. Um, but um, we just have to watch what is happening. Um, like the board is set and the pieces are moving. It is from now on. It is strictly physics. I mean, those people are in the country. They're doing what they're always doing, and the media has to report on it. And this is all we have to do, basically. Now, if you want to do something in addition to that, that's fine. But I would almost say that um, just watching this whole scenario play out, it's basically like plain physics. It is just differential equations at motions right now. We just have to sit back, basically, and watch what happens. This is at least how I feel at the moment. And it is not that the right-winged opinion becomes more strong because of something special and uh, creative that right-wing people did. No, it is because of how stupid and how ignorant the left is and the uh, situation that uh, the established parties, these left-wing progressive parties, the situation that they created and the fallout from this horrible situation is what is driving now the right-wing narrative to get much stronger and the right-wing sentiment in the population to gain more ground. So let me know what your prediction for 2017 is for the Western world and for Germany maybe if you have an opinion on that and um, have a great day. Servus, Kameraden!